Hey, what's going on there, Fox Nation? Jaren with Shadow Fox Game, and here, and as you guys can tell, I'm bringing you guys a new segment. And plus, on top of that, the gameplay that you guys see right here is Rise of the Dark Spark uh, Transformers. This is the isolation mode where you go get 15 waves of AI on multiplayer. So, the new segment I'm bringing you guys is where I'm going to start telling you guys the news and stuff every week. I'm going to try doing this video once a week. So, let's hopefully that you guys enjoy this. If you guys do enjoy this, leave a comment down in the comment section. And please, don't forget to give us a like. The, the first segment I'm going to bring you guys right here is about the new Tekken 7 trailer that just released. Um, they're saying that they're going to take be able to take full potential of the engine uh, since this is only going to be a next-gen version of the game from what I've heard. Don't hold me on that. It also could be coming to Xbox 360 and PS3. But they said that it's going to be running on the Unreal Engine 4. So this does kind of sound like almost... Particularly, it's going to be a straight next-gen game. Um, there's going to be more information about it on July 25th, so let's hope that it's going to be really, really epic and everything. The next segment I'm going to bring you guys right here is about Microsoft having some layoffs. Um, from what this news story came out today is that they're going to be having about 6,000 layoffs. Um, that's just from a configured number that I'm hearing about. Some people actually said it might be higher. But they're saying that the layoffs are going to go off into the Nokia and some are going into the actual Xbox division. Um, they said that maybe there might be about around a thousand uh, Xbox division people being laid off and that the rest of them are going to go into the no no Nokia version. Uh, if you guys don't know what Nokia is, well, uh, it's an old cell phone company place uh, that made cell phones back and I know um, Microsoft went off and bought that not too long ago but that's some pretty sad news so I hope uh, whoever gets laid off you guys find another division I hope you guys are a little satisfied with the new place you guys go to okay this segment right here is about the last of us on PS4 a lot of people are saying that Naughty Dog went off and uh, claimed that the game is gold on Twitter uh, you guys can probably go look at it if you guys go look underneath Naughty, Naughty Dog and the developers and whatnot um, yeah, a lot of people are speculating that this means that it's already going to go platinum, or the game is a go. Uh, the game is coming out on the 29th of this month, and it's for PS4, and like I said, they claimed it to be 1080p, 60 frames per second. That's what they went off instead. So, like I said, what do you guys think about what it means to go gold? Do you guys think it's ready, or do you guys just think that they're just trying to overhype it? It could mean a lot of things, so who knows? On to my next segment. And this is going to be the last story of the day. Um, Andrew House, the president and CEO of uh, Sony Entertainment of America, is actually inviting people over to, especially Wii U owners, that never got the chance to go off and have a PS3, uh, to come over and play on PS4 for The Last of Us because he believes that this game should be really shared uh, just because it's a great game. This game is pretty good. I went for a pretty emotional ride. Um, the game just has a lot of mixed emotions with a lot of the characters. The game is just epic. Um, but yeah, like I said, he, want, he wants a lot of the, um, like I said, people who never had a chance, like Xbox 360, uh, Wii U, Wii, any owners like that who had gone off and just never was able to jump onto the PlayStation bandwagon in the last in the last gen, um, since now we are in the current gen, uh, he wants he like that he's just inviting them over. He's not telling you guys to drop your system. He's just giving you guys more of an ordeal, just saying, hey, come over, come try this game out, you know. And I admire that. I mean, Andrew House is a really good person, you know. And Phil over there at Xbox, he's a really damn good person as well. And I'm just really glad to see how opened up minded that this gen is actually starting to look. I believe that maybe hopefully that this dumb console war crap could end. Because honestly, it's it's a pain. But that's it for my segment. Please like, comment, subscribe what you guys feel about this. And I will check you guys later in my next video. Jaren from Shadow Fox Gaming out. Stay classy, YouTube. And I will check you later. Shield matrix deployed. Turret installation offline. Barricade offline.